Welcome back from the holidays, everybody. Thanks for joining me at Crypt Monkey Paints again. I am going to finish our magnificent forest dragon. Yay! I love this little man. Um, he has been sitting on my shelf, calling my name desperately, and I'm trying to hold glue on. Getting the wings going on there. Um, this forest dragon is from my... Or I do this every time because I want to say my my mini factory but it's mini monster mayhem and i love this this sculpt uh the big news is that he has redone this sculpt sculpt english is already out the door guys we're done we're out we're good um he has redone this sculpt in a where the dragon is actually sitting on the top of a castle and its wings are instead of being back like this its wings are oh my god i'm stuck like roar. it's so freaking awesome hi dorky you made it early that's amazing are the kiddos in bed early what did you do <laughs> <laughs> um but last time we pretty much focused on the base of this guy so this time we are going to focus on him we are going to finish everything it's gonna be amazing so I'm going to start because I got one wing glued on and I can very clearly see where that spot is. Oh, there you go. The only problem with them playing um, electronic games is, well, I mean, it's fine if you have other things that you want to do, but when you want to play and they want to play, it's like, I don't want to share. <laughs> I'm not a good sharer. I want to play. Um... <laughs> But I can very clearly see where the joins are um, for the wings. But that's going to be disguised with, I don't know, little bits, tidbits of something. Moss or something. It's it's fine. We'll make it go away. So I am going to go ahead and get the other wing on. I This is like an amazing mini. I have a cord sitting right on my chat area so give me two seconds guys okay fine go this way there that's fine um <laughs> yeah pretty much and it that's like and, and it never stops either that's not something that goes away for the kids i'm sorry i'm gonna read um hi nakia nanaki. nanaki is that how you say that i'm not sure hi I'm bad at saying names. <laughs> okay, so dorky, yes, kids always want to do what you're doing when you're doing it. And it's always so much fun. And even when they're 19 years old and you want to sit down and paint, and they all of a sudden want to sit down and paint, although the table has been open for six hours, but as soon as you sit down, they want to sit down. <laughs> it's map map. That is a really fun name because <laughs> now I like all I have in my mind. Um, yes, I am like a huge fan of this mini as well. Like I said, he also just redid this sculpt. Um, it's basically he went and took for January's release. He went and took a bunch of I'm just I'm doing this off camera, but I'm like literally just putting glue. Uh, he went and took a bunch of old sculpts and he's re reinvigorating them reinvigorating them english uh so that one i'm like seriously excited this one i'm seriously excited about doing because he like i said it's he's taken the wings and pulled them all forward and then there's a like the base prints in three sections and it's a castle tower but not the not the pokey ones, but the flat topped ones. And he's standing at the top of that, so it looks freaking amazing. And thank you for joining chat, guys. I see first time chat. First time chat from viewer. Blech. I'm just not gonna be able to speak tonight. Okay. Behave. So ooh. Now this was one of the things that you can see it's it's very back heavy 
Um, but when he sculpted this, he knew that was going to be the case. So he highly recommended, you know, putting it in, in its base and also making sure that the base was uh, an, an oval shape to, to counteract that back heaviness. So that's really kind of nice that, that he mentions, you know, Hey, just FYI, although I can't get the legs in here. Because he's got his little sprouted legs. I'm terrified I'm going to break his... I'm not going to do that right now. We'll force it in when we're ready to force it in. But that is how he sits on his really, really fun base. That we worked so hard on. And it looks so great. But I did make more mushrooms for it. Let's see. We need a convention sober can all hang out again. So, oh, yes. So, uh, well, you know, the sober thing works too. I'm always sober though, because it's not that I have anything against drinking. It's just as soon as I drink, I go to sleep. So it's really not fun. But yes, I am very much looking forward. I have my coffee. I'm very, very much looking forward to being out in the world again at conventions. Okay. So I made mushrooms and all I did I can get them over here was I made like a line of clay here back up baby without falling back there you go so I made a, a little bulk of clay and then I just cut some toothpicks down and made little button cap mushrooms and have two little piles of them and so if I finish him I will play around with some mushrooms I also made some I have already forgotten shelf mushrooms I think is what they're called um made some of those so basically all i did was pinch the clay to where it was nice and flat like this and then literally take my finger and smash one side of it there and then it's ready to go on the side of a log but we did put some on there because i had a little bit left over of the base uh the glue and the dirt that we had made so i made some and they actually look really good. So, anyway, we've got those to play with. So I'm going to actually start painting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just now read chat. It's Dragon Mail. Dragon Claw, Chain Mail's wife here. <laughs> and the dorky. Oh, my God, I know you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of funny because we end up with, like, almost a con family well i mean it's not almost it is a con family that we uh that we it's like we we see every all the same people at cons so it's like we just we have this family of people that we go to cons with and we all just kind of watch each other's back and and do all that kind of stuff which i did i don't know if i have the right email for um for you guys for dragon mail because i owe you guys a quaxacoatl that i was supposed to bring to um midwest game fest which got canceled so i didn't really know what to do with it but i emailed and i didn't get a response and i'm thinking i don't have the right email so i'm just dry brushing on the bark to make it look kind of aged because this is not a new dragon <laughs> yeah i i actually really enjoy painting at the booth i'm sorry i'm reading i'm reading um it's map map <laughs> i'm so glad i can see you paint and also we will see you again sometime which is which is true hi regina um I, I was actually, Regina, I was specifically talking to Ty today. Like, I had a couple of different things that I possibly might have paint, decided to paint. And then I was like, but Regina really wants to see this one finished. She specifically asked for this one. So, um, <coughs> God damn it. Watch your mouth. Sorry. 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 <laughs> High tech priest. Um, but no, uh, I forgot my line of thought here. <laughs> I really did. I, I have no idea. Hi, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> I'm, I am all kind of kerfuffled. So that's that. Done. 
Words not happen. Brain not work. Come back tomorrow. Uh, but I'm just dry brushing to kind of age this. Oh, I know what I was saying. Map, map. I was saying that it was... <laughs> it's fun when it makes other people jump too. Uh, map, map. I was saying that uh, I really love to paint at the booth, but I can't always do that. Um, but it's honestly, it's one of those things like, especially looking over and I could see you guys making things, uh, for the chain mail. And it's, it's like, I'm so jealous half the time. I'm like, damn it. I want to be painting. Um, I had one convention. Oh, I am totally off frame here. Let me see here. That's a little bit better. I know. I know. Oh, you know what the worst part is too? You know how we had talked about putting that little baby owl it's not a baby, but it's a tiny little owl. We had talked about putting that owl right up here. I lost the owl. That's gone. It's gone. And I reprinted one so that I could do so I could do it and it died. So no owl. But that's okay. It's okay. It'll look cute anyway. Gina says, I started working on my forest dragon this week as well. I spray painted a base of brown and used red contrast to make it red wood. Nice. Also, the stone base has grass tufts. Nice. The owl flew the coop. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, Dorothy says, don't lose cute little owls. I know, I know. And, uh, you know, it was one of those things that I had also, because um, the owl goes with the... Uh, He's a fawn trapper is what he is from Dragon Trapper's Lodge. And somebody ordered it. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. I'll print another one. Uh, you know, I'll print, you know, a couple on there because one, they tend to get lost. And two, you know, I, I need one for this. Um, and I printed two and his owl, when I was cleaning it, the wing broke. I'm like, well, shit. Like, well, he gets the good one. So, I was... Go ahead. Uh, so it's Map Map says, what a hoot. <laughs> and, um, uh, Sawdust Dragon, hi. He says, tree critters. <laughs> yes, tree critters. I did have a high sawdust... Um... Why is this like being a pain in the butt? You know what? I'm done with that brush. It's like... It's doing something really weird, and I don't like it. Stupid brush. Stupid Christmas. Not really. I'm just doing the... Uh, how was everybody's holidays? I'll tell you, mine was awesome because all of our children were home. And that's really all it takes for it to be fun for me. <laughs> was it done? And Ty's birthday was awesome. We had fun. We got him a brand new recliner. Let go. We're going to spin him around. Ooh, and off subject, but not really because it's this dragon. I have a commission that I'm going to be working on soon. I've got both Almost. Ooh, I'm so glad I let go of that because I almost ripped it with me. Hi, Gareth. Hi, Gareth. Oh, what a way to introduce yourself, right? Hi, how are you, duck? <laughs> Quackety quack quack quack. Uh, Regina says holiday was good but busy. It's map map says I was ready that time. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. Uh, Gareth says my holiday was awesome. Awesome. Um, somebody contacted me through Etsy and they wanted this dragon and a silver dragon painted for their daughter's wedding cake topper. I'm like, that is so cool. And they want it full size like this. They're literally doing, they want the cake toppers done so they can take the cake topper to the bakery and say, okay, base my cake around this <laughs> so i am like super excited about it and yes i did like i looked i got a plant-based resin but i have also told her i'm gonna spray it down with food safe but this really should not be touching cake that people are going to be eating so 
It's Map Map says, wow, that is an awesome topper. I yeah. Agree. So this one, this version, she wants it all in white. And then the wedding colors are gold, green, and blue, if I remember right. I wrote it down. So, um, so the gem in the chest, I think I'm going to do gold. But I might do color shifting from blue to green to gold to bring all of those colors in. And then the silver dragon will have a lot of silver, but will also bring in those colors as well. So it's challenging for me because, see this needs to be, I'm going to jiggle you around a little bit, guys. That's a little better. Um, it's a little challenging because this particular one, she wants pretty much all in white, which, you know, it's all white, but it also needs to be you know decorative and everything else so like keeping it all white and not a snowy dragon struggling with that one a little bit but i'll get there i'll get it it'll work and it'll be amazing tech priest majora says nice jane hat on beardly one <laughs> somebody mentioned cons and i was looking for a hat I'm like, yep i know what i'm grabbing um that was chainmail uh chainmail's wife technically oh that was talking about cons um, so yeah yeah um uh, and uh it's map map says you have a great eye for blending the right colors together thank you because he's gonna go get some dinner Ooh, mm. yummy yummy Ty's going to cook dinner later yeah i might be making noise for um, you know, I, I actually, I really appreciate, I've got something on my brush, so I'm going to be off camera for a second while I clean my brush. I really appreciate that map map because color is actually, I just read sawdust. No, no, daddy, no. <laughs> um, no, I actually, color is something that I struggle with actually. Uh, and how many times can I say actually tonight, guys? <laughs> I could actually calculate that for you. <laughs> Shut up. Um, okay, that's another brush down. I think I might have had a little bit of glue on the side where the inside the wing, and I think that's what's happened to my two of my brushes. But they're not dry brushing very nicely, so I'm going to set them aside. Um, I, I struggle quite a bit with color combinations and what looks good together and what doesn't look good together and when I should and I because honestly when I'm drawing I just prefer just to draw with chalk and um charcoal and it's black and white and I'm done it's so much easier why I haven't done a, a monochrome is that the right word monochrome for no color yeah right yeah. Why I haven't done a grayscale mini yet, I have no idea, but I need to, because that's definitely where I feel like I'm much stronger. Regina says, I love working with colors. I am, uh, I am always at a point when I'm working with colors, I, I always have a color wheel available for me. Uh, just because, like I said, I, I do actually struggle with what things um what things will look good together and what they won't but it's oh i like that sawdust i'm sorry sawdust just suggested creature from the black lagoon in black and white um i'm very bad at reading that would look really good on my desk yes now we're going to See, this is what I should have done was this area before I glued it together. That is the point of having things separate, dumbass. Regina says, although I'm not sure what color to dry brush on my forest dragon. Well, it depends on um, I, and that actually. And that's kind of my point is I struggle so much with what color should I use and all that other kind of stuff. Uh, that I just, I go to nature and I go look up pictures of this is what it actually looks like. So I just follow that. Um, 
I had, I struggled quite a bit to get rid of the, uh, what I call the kindergarten color palette where the sky is blue, grass is green, trees are green. Cause that's just not the way nature is. Um, so I've, I very much just rely on nature to guide me and I, I just stick to that and it makes life so much easier for me. Because I, I do love working with color, but I am severely intimidated by it. Black and white is just freaking easy. It truly, truly is. I mean, like, a, a good example of of what what to use when. Like, I was painting an Etten, and I wanted it to be all red. I didn't use a single red color on it. The oranges made way better reds than anything. So it's giving something the feel you want while watching what your paint is doing is just the easier way of doing it. So this dragon says that's how they do it at DreamWorks. And Regina says, I found a pretty purple redwood tree, so I was thinking of trying purple as the dry brush. Purple and reds, like, I a lot of times when I'm doing something that is like an actual red, I will use purples as my shadows for sure. Um, and like when I'm drawing, when I'm painting like a night sky, I use blue, purple, and red. There's not a single black in it, but when I mix those colors, I get a really rich, deep, dark night sky without it being black, except when I'm wrestling with watercolor, because I don't really understand watercolor yet. So I just kind of, I stick to the, the kindergarten colors of night is black, <laughs> just because I, I don't know how to blend them yet. I'm working on it. But right now, like I'm using, what is this? Where did my bottle go? I'm just holding him down with my finger to make sure he doesn't tip back. Right now I'm using Screaming Skull is the layer, the color I'm using. And it's a really light beige color. Gareth says, I try to go natural too. That way. Ugh. See, I, this is why I don't read things out loud, because I just completely got kerfuffled. Tyler, read. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. I'm the king of kerfuffle. No, oh, it's okay. Gareth says, I try to go to nature too, which is why I had so much damn trouble with that damn competition, Minnie. True. S since it wasn't anything from the natural world, and there were no good freaking reference picks that I liked. Yeah, well, and that's a lot of times when I have that kind of issue where, you know, like this just doesn't exist in the world. Um, I go to deep sea creatures because, well, I love everything having to do with the ocean. Just in general, I, I love water. Um, so usually that's where I go. But not always deep sea, but uh, just going to some sort of weird fish that is... Um, really freaking cool. And I just, I take the color from that, that, or I usually start looking at lizards because again, amazing colorations and like some of the things that sometimes I'm, I'm looking at a photo going, okay, this has been doctored. There's no way this is a real thing. And I, I look and look and look and look and Nope, sure enough, that's the way that thing looks. That's crazy. I was looking at a, um, uh, it's a, it's a type of lizard. I, I've literally lost the name of it. Uh, it doesn't really matter though. Um, uh, I was looking at lizards and one of them had like this neon blue stripe. I'm like, there's no way it's actually that bright. And it, it really is that bright. Like, that's, I mean, it, yeah, it, it's that warning of don't eat me because you'll die. But still, it's just so freaking cool. 
I was working on some other stuff. Did you already read about the stuff underneath Garrett's Garrett's? No. Sorry. Okay, so Sawdust Dragon says, I'd hate to be the one in charge of giving names to paints. <laughs> the name <laughs> the names are so freaking weird. Like some of these names are just like the weirdest thing in the world. I'm like, why? Why, 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 why? Uh, like screaming charred brown. Uh, Regina says, love sea creatures and lizards. Yeah. It's, those are pretty much when, when I don't know what to do, that's my go-to. Or like for um, the... I'll my water around. The... <clears throat> oh, Tiamat. Yes, doing this helps me. Um, for Tiamat, I was actually working on him and my whole inspiration was, uh, Moana. So I just, you know, it, it doesn't really take a whole lot for me to watch that movie over and over anyway, but, um, I wanted to stick to that kind of island feel. And so that's the whole coloration for that is, is based on that movie, um, whether or not it's natural or not doesn't really matter because i'm basing it on the movie regina says uh which is why i love my new koi dragon my husband was so sneaky and had a friend order it because he knew i watched your stream almost every week and he didn't want to accidentally give it away oh that's awesome i was wondering because when that was purchased most people purchase the koi dragon and then i send them a message going hey by the way i can put it in this color or this color and that person just ordered and said, I want it with this and this combination. I'm like, cool. Didn't even have to ask them. I was like, that's really funny. Garrett says, uh, look up mantis shrimp and dear God, the colors. Oh, I love mantis shrimp. Oh my God. They're so amazing. I love them. Love them. Love them. If I had a tank that was salt water, I would just have so many shrimp in there. I Regina agrees. Or mandarin fish. Um... Uh, I have literally forgotten the name of my favorite fish at the moment, but... And uh, Sawdust and Garrett think I need a 3D printed gun named Vera. I, I could agree with that. Yes. If I can win that big printer, I will definitely... That'll be the first thing I print is Vera. You know what I've been thinking about is when we get the... Uh, Jupiter? The Jupiter in. Kind of wanting all the masks from the Friday the 13th. No. <laughs> just no. <laughs> Will you wear them at cons? No, I just want to hang them on the wall oh, of my hang office, on the wall. you know? Well, the first thing we need to do is finish all of the dragon head mounts. Yeah, that would be fun, too. Because I would like to do them bigger than what I can currently. Yeah. Because we have plenty of wall space. We have these, like, somebody... The people before us, or at some point, somebody ripped out a bunch of... Oh, this is Heli, Helion Green dry brush, by the way. Is what I'm doing now. Um, so yeah, names, right? Uh, but when they ripped out the walls, they left the beam between the rooms. Which is cool, because like that would be a perfect place to put all of the... Dragon head mounts. Okay, lay down and let go of me. It's Map Map says I bought the hubs over one thousand of dwarven forge stuff. He may need some awesome dragons for it. Um, Gareth says, but I'm winning the big printer. Do you start yours yet? Because I started mine. <laughs> but what are you working on, Dawn? Pestilence. Oh, I thought you were going to keep a secret again. That's no. Because <laughs> I'll probably, honestly, I'll check your mouth. I'll probably end up streaming it. <laughs> it's pretty so far. Yeah. I haven't gotten very far. I've got the base coat and I started doing the highlights. These things are like so close together. It's a little difficult to pick out. Gareth says, yeah, I'll send you pics. You will. You really will. 
I mean, you did give me a sneak peek, peek <laughs> and I appreciate that. That was that thing is phenomenal. I love it. Oh shit! Oh, thank you for the bits. Oh, look, big boom! <laughs> I love the big booms. <laughs> And I did put up stuff for the Alt of the Stream. Um, if you guys are saving your points for that, I did put stuff in Discord. Uh, and we did change, I think we did change it, or not change it, but we offered where you can actually um, spend bits to alter the stream as well. I yeah, think so. People that, that, oh, bits? No. Uh, uh, yeah. no. no, that's not a thing. Oh, that's not a thing. Okay, sorry. We talked about it at one at one point. Yes, we did. We talked about it. But anyway, um, yeah, there's there's some fun ones because we've gotten. It's the beginning of the month, of course. So there's a million new beautiful prints that I have that I am desperate to have a reason to print for myself. If we want to talk about that thing we met about, what we had a room. Uh, let's, let's wait until next month, I think. I may change my mind in five minutes, but we'll see. Oh, no. Behave, dragon. <laughs> so one of my favorite things to do is, like, going back and forth between, um, dry brushing and putting on washes. So what I'll do is like, you see how bright he is uh, with all the dry brushing. So what I'll end up doing is taking a shade and that'll all kind of go back down into the brown tone again. It'll go to a deeper tone, but that's kind of the reason I go so light uh, and so much is so that I can do that. And then I'll come, you know, sometimes I come back, back and forth between dry brushing and shading like 15 times before I'm like, okay, cool. I like that. Okay, are you going to... No, you're not. Behave. It's Map Map says, I love my beholder. You printed it. Chills on my desk with the other beholders. That's cool. That's cool. Now, one of these days, I'd like to... I don't know if we're going to hold it or... I don't know how we're going to do it yet, but it needs to happen. Would like a big concrete beholder to go in the front yard. It's going to piss the neighbors off, but I'm going to okay. We already have dice in our front yard. Yeah, Who cares? We got big giant dice and a bigfoot. Uh, I love the. I'm, I'm going to no, say this. I love it because the bigfoot actually is like starting to walk behind one of the bushes. It's really really funny. Well, that's actually that's our. Uh, I took a picture of it. That's our avatar for gamers in the unknown is bigfoot. It's actually our bigfoot. There we go. There you go. That's what I'm using. I'm going to add a little bit more. No, a little to his, I have found with the color shifters, uh, what I need to do is make it the color, I the base color I want it, and then add the detail or add that over the top because it they're not strong enough to make it that color. It's Map Map says, I would love to be your neighbor. <laughs> Regina says, I also picked up a respirator mask finally. So now I can sand the forest dragon wings to glue together and do the tiny amount of cleanup on the koi dragon to start work on it. Yeah. Um, I usually just use one of my, my fabric masks. Uh, but I also step outside on our back porch and do it out there. Not for the typical cleanup, but when I'm like sanding, sanding, like Cthulhu... I actually had, uh, I did use a respirator mask on that because I had our electric sander out there on that sucker. Nope. Not it, gonna happen. It's Map Map says, should we shout timber when the forest dragon falls? Just asking. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and Sada says, the heavy forest green is too heavy. That is why the mini keeps tipping over. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then I did, I really did. I, I really appreciated the fact that before I even purchased this, the sculptor was like, look, I know that this is back heavy, but I sculpted it this way on purpose. The weight, the base is heavy, but you need to make sure that you add another base because it's just not going to stand up well unless you don't, unless you do these things. So I thought that was just a really nice 
touch, you know? It it just shows he, he actually cares, and he wants things to look good. Regina says it's too cold outside. Yeah. I yeah. Agree. I did Cthulhu in the summer. It was not in the winter. Um, most of the bits that I do... Um, I'm trying to get just the tiniest bit of paint on here to get kind of that color shift. Stop it. I'm getting to that stage where these are not quite right and I'm trying to figure out what's... Oh, stupid head. Oh, no. Nope, dry. I'm trying to figure out if I should have them on or off when I'm doing tiny details. But at the moment, this is actually just the right length away from me to be fine. Gareth has pics on Discord. Oh, of what the one you're working on for the competition? Did you add to our what you entered for Michael's? Did you add that into our Discord as well? Because people need to see that. It's freaking amazing. And I have to get some coffee. Oh. I just finished the eyeballs. Uh this is big beautiful dragon. You pull it over here. Oh, I know that dragon. Oh, that looks awesome. That is pretty. That bait. Do you already have highlights on the base? Because, like, I can see where the V is coming down. Um, it's, like, turning different shades. Oh, and the purple on the wings. See, and that's actually, like, perfect example for Regina, what you were talking about. It, I guess it's the lighting, Gareth, then, if you didn't already do highlights on the... Uh, the base because it looks like where the V is of, on the rock that it's like meeting up to timber. <laughs> uh, it looks like it's already been highlighted. It looks really good. Uh, but actually, Regina, that's like a per perfect example that the ones that Gareth just put in there of the red and the purple, how good they look together. Okay. You going to stay? See, I'm like... I'm like knocking off these little pieces constantly. So that's a little sad, but I think I'm going to utilize some of those knocked off pieces to kind of hide these areas where the, the joins are pretty obvious. I am currently looking to see a brown that I might want to use. And I think I'm going to use, no, not that one. Uh, Garris is not yet, but I will. As far as picks up for the for Michael's petition, right? Oh, okay. I thought he was talking. I I read that and I took it as he was he hadn't put highlights on the rocks yet. Oh. Okay, good. I was gonna say if you, I don't know if it was the he says almost done with the base. I didn't didn't realize what answer you were giving, but yeah, that base looks amazing. I love those highlights on there. Regina is looking now. Okay, I'm using snake bite leather. This is a contrast paint, so it kind of does the highlights and the shades when you use it properly. I kind of just use it like a like a shade. But this will bring some of that brightness down. And it'll also tone a little bit of that green that's peeking through the edges. You need to come over here so I don't knock you over. Uh, Sawdust was asking which folder on uh, Discord. It's the photo gallery channel. The miniatures. Oh, and I do want to bring up that contest again, guys, because it is until the end of the month. Um, it All it, the requirements are is it has to be a Lord of the Print mini. And you can literally win yourself a free 3d printer the top three prizes are printers and i'm not talking about baby printers i'm talking about one first prize is a printer bigger than what i have second prize is a printer that is the standard one that i have now and it's still i mean that's my saturn it's like that size it's not the same brand that i use but it's a free printer man um and i'm assuming it's a good a, one a you do or? not it is open to anyone it literally is you have to paint one of his miniatures. That's it. And he also is giving away a free beholder so that you don't even have to buy a file. 
if you've got access to a printer, print out that beholder, paint it, and, and enter. Because what's the worst case that's going to happen? You're going to have a painted beholder, and that's it. That's still not really all that bad. Um, but Ty will get links into chat for um, my mini my mini factory, Lord of the Print. Uh, if you go on there, you'll find him. But seriously, everybody, if you've got time to paint, you should be entering this contest. And here is Gareth added his competition yes. piece. For, that's the piece that uh, Gareth did for Michael, and it is in the photo gallery as well. Um, I did not finish. I had I entered the rock that I had painted on stream, but I was trying to get the um, Tiamat done in time to enter it as a second entry, but I, I couldn't finish it. Not with Nick here, uh, our son, visiting. I, I just spent spent more time with him than I was spending painting so which is one of the reasons why we didn't stream the other was obviously the holidays but in general um i wanted to hang out with him which i absolutely did and i do not regret anything tiamat will still get finished some other comments uh no it's matt matt says beholders Wee! <laughs> right and this beholder's really good looking like, you know how there's some that are, oh, that's cute. It's a beholder. And others are like, oh, that's really cool. I like that. But you wouldn't really want it to paint it. You just like, if it was there and that's cool. Uh, but this one is like, ooh, I want to paint that. I am painting pestilence. Um, mm, let's see. It was, uh, I think it was December's release. He did uh, the Four, Four Horsemen. It might have been November. No, it was December. He did the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse was his theme, so. And next month's theme for Mini Monster Mayhem is Pokemon. So everything, I mean, he's going to make original creatures with the inspiration being he's not going to just copy them. So don't expect to have like, you know, Pikachu sitting on the table. I think that's going to be really fun. Gareth says your Tiamat would have been damned awesome, but I get spending time with family. Yeah. Um, especially because we get to see, like one one year we really didn't get to see Nick at all. Uh, and then last year, or this year we got, like technically last year, we got to see him during the summer. Um, and then we got to see him at Christmas. So we, we get to see him twice a year if we're lucky. So that, you know, takes precedence. Once he's <clears throat> finished his, his army stuff, he'll move back home. So it'll be a little bit more normal. Let's see. <laughs> a little bit more normal to see him whenever. Shot. I know, right? <laughs> but it's like this is this is the reason that you don't put the wings on until you're done. <laughs> Cause now I'm like trying to get in here. I don't know. I, I guess I'm torn because I like to be able to get the blend that I want, which I find better to get the the flowing blend blend throughout. I felt like I said that wrong, but I didn't. Um, you know, to get it to flow all together and everything else. And, but then you end up with something that's a little unwieldy to paint. I'm just, I'm not good enough at painting yet to paint in pieces and have everything marry together when I assemble it. But eventually. Like I've seen people do these amazing blends and then they put it all together and it all matches up perfectly. I'm like, damn. <coughs> Gareth. <clears throat> Doing amazing blends. Not like a real cough mixed with it. <laughs> I was trying. I was being good. <laughs> 
I just, I, I, it seems easier to me to paint it when it's pretty much together. So now, let's see. Okay, motion sickness time, guys. You can see, focus, specifically, like right here, you can see like three or four different shades. No! Damn it. Three or four different shades of that brown that happened because I had the base coat and then I had the... I gotta put it back. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Because I did the base coat and then I did the dry brushing and then I put the contrast over it. So I get a bunch of different colors happening with very little effort. Silhouette luck is more like it. Are you okay. doing that purpose? No. I, shit house, house luck. luck. Okay. <laughs> it's it's difficult for me to read from over here. It's a little small. Oh, thank you. He is like super cute. I, I need to do something because this piece coming out from his chin is not a tongue. If you look, his mouth is actually closed. It's just a branch with some leaves. So I need to give that a little bit of of highlights. I don't want that much up there. Um, and as far as what Gareth said, I feel like that sometimes myself. I'm like, oh, wow, that looks really cool. And I did it. <laughs> but it, it's really, honestly, it, it's it's kind of the shithouse luck of, because, okay, so when I was reading the shithouse luck is more like it, what I was reading was silhouette fuck is more like it. I'm like, I don't even understand what the hell that is. That's why I was struggling. <laughs> <laughs> uh Gareth says those leaves and branches look stunning. Sawdust Dragon uh, says, Oh, Dragon has a stick to play fetch with. <laughs> it's his chin. <laughs> Don't play fetch with that. So what I'm gonna use is moss and lichen from Vallejo, the environmental stuff. And this is really thin, and I love this stuff. And I'm gonna use it to kind of highlight a few. Um, a few leaves here and there. Just pick out a few little ones to be a little more special. But... <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Is that, like, out of focus, isn't it? You jackass! I just realized that was you. <laughs> Schmuck. Anyway. I mean, really, it was, like I was saying, Gareth, it's, it's, I base coated and then dry brushed a bunch of different colors. That's really it. I added yellows and greens and different shades because I wanted to stick with kind of a summery feel. You know what's really amazing that I just realized? Sir has not been freaking out at all. Hello, buddy. I see you. Yes, you're being such a good boy. Yeah, he still don't want to come in here. He's been in the room with Cora. That's why he's being a good boy. Oh, well, okay. I'll take it back. Well, the right time. Show. using the side of my brush something that I do quite a bit I'm I'm actually I think I might stream when I do the cake toppers but if I do I will be turning off all scary sounds because I don't want to mess those dragons up. Uh, I know, but it's for somebody's wedding. And so I'm also going to be asking, because it's the mother of the bride that I've been talking with. Um, I'm going to ask her to give me the initials 
and I I don't I'm gonna give it up I'm gonna leave it up to her but I want their initials because the base of this dragon is this lump of wood right here right so I want to make it look like the initials are carved in with a heart and I'm gonna tell her to either give me like, like the initials are carved right. in Love it. that was Tyler um I want to make it look like the initials are carved in, but then I also want to do where uh, either the date of the wedding or the um, the date of their first date or when they met. You know, I'll just tell her to give me an important date from them, and I'll ing and I'll you know carve that into the base because. The cool thing is, is like, yeah, she wants dragons on the top of her wet or of her wedding cake, which is freaking awesome. But they're also D and D players, so they're going to be taking these dragons off and then throwing them on the table for their players to beat. Which <laughs> they're not gonna. And thank you for the noise, Sawdust Dragon, um, for the bits. Thank you for the noise. I well, I couldn't figure out what the noise was because I missed the little icon. <laughs> okay. So now I am pretty much happy with everything. I think focus. Shoot. Hi creep show. <laughs> I need to put I'm going to get bleached linen out. So I can put a couple of highlights on the gym. Then I think, guys, we are going to paint some mushrooms for the base. Because I'm at the stage where basically I just need to kind of stare at the dragon and see if it needs anything else. Because I don't know yet. So I'm just following the the lines of the gym itself. And I have very, very little paint on my brush. So, because I don't, I know the white lines kind of make it look like an actual gym. But I don't like them being really like super stark. You know? Well, I shouldn't say that. They look freaking awesome when people do them right and they're super stark. I don't do them well, right. I don't do them well like that. I'm gone by the tail. I can't go anywhere. <laughs> All right. Well, we're an hour in, so I'm going to talk about things. Yes. Oh, we have not mentioned the giveaway yet. All right. So, either. so if we have anybody new who isn't following yet, near the end of the show, probably around eight ish, between eight eight thirty, somewhere in there, maybe just before eight, uh, we will be giving away another mini, uh, mystery mini box. Actually, yes. we have boxes with numbers over there. If you're the winner, you'll get to choose a number of from the remaining boxes, and then we'll send that to you yeah that's the number left good deal and uh we'll ship that out to you um in order to win you need to make sure that you go ahead and, and follow before we do the drawing later on we'll have something we're going to have you type in the chat and when you type that in that will enter you into the yes uh so coming up tomorrow possibly <clears throat> is going to be another uh coral will be on and be crafty doing painting something i think yes uh, i believe they're going to be painting cthulhu not not the big giant cthulhu i have uh two versions of cthulhu now um so they'll be painting the smaller version which is actually smaller but really cool because he's like coming up out of the waves so he's about waist high uh well a little bit below waist but he's like coming up and his wings are out. It's it's really kind of cool. Yeah, that sounds cool. Um, and after that, possibly Sunday. That's sort of 
being played by ear if there's going to be some a project good for Sunday or not. Um, and then Monday, Gamers in the Unknown will be back. I'm not even sure what we're talking about yet. I still have to talk with Jake and figure out what our subject's going to be. That's not here. That's on the Gamers in the Unknown channel. Go follow us over there as well. And uh, that's where we talk about paranormal things, cryptid, stuff like that, and then how we would use those in our tabletop role-playing game. So that's what we've got coming up. Ish. I don't have my tweezers over here. This bottle won't stay open, and it's a stupid head. <laughs> Oh my god. She got me way over there. Ty was like going to get my tweezers and I think he pooped his pants. Yes. <laughs> that was like perfect timing. Thank you, Sawdust, for the for the bits. I think Sawdust is saying we should talk about werewolves. Talk about werewolves. I like werewolves. On your show. Oh. Yeah, we haven't done werewolf yet, have we? No, I don't think. I, no, I definitely. Stupid bottle. I hate this bottle. Okay. I'm going to waste a bunch of paint and get it poured onto my palette instead. No, I won't because it's so freaking thick. So this is always. Always. <laughs> All right. That bottle's going in the trash because it's pretty much dying anyway. All right, now I can go back to painting my damn mushrooms. Like, didn't even get one painted because it was being a stupid head. So my intention is, is that like massively out of focus? It won't focus, babe. Do you mean that? Yeah, would you please? It's like not really super intensive, but. I will be putting spots on it. I'll stop moving so you can tell. Because it's it, it's picking up the dragon in the background instead. That's probably what it is. That's better. Now you can see this lump of clay. Nope, stay on there. Hesky autofocus saw those dragons as yes. Yeah. I had made a... You know, maybe that's what we ought to do on Sunday. I'll either be working on finishing up Tiamat or I will work on my newest entry. I don't know which yet. Kind of depends on the week on what I get done during the week. Because right now I'm massively behind on everything. I mean I'm not behind but I always feel like I'm behind. I've been trying to do better about getting posts up on Kofi, and I just haven't been. I got two done today, and I started working on one for tomorrow, but it's kind of like, you know how you have a schedule and the holidays hit, and then your schedule just goes, Pew! no way, come back. <laughs> Some of these fell off the little stands I made for them. But my gloved fingers don't work so well. Sawdust suggests figure out how to get the stream deck to give you a far, medium, and near focus set at the push of a button. That's not a bad idea. I haven't even looked at that. My stint itch. That's I wasn't doing that specifically, like... Oh, yep. 
We're going to do that. There you go. Look, I thought of something. It's a miracle. Okay. Stop it. I'm like rushing to get these painted because I love putting the polka dots on here. Like, <laughs> You need to be done now so I can do polka dots. I don't know why. It's just so much fun for me. Well, the good news is it looks like we are going to actually finish this dragon tonight. I was a little worried. I was telling Ty earlier tonight. I was like, oh yeah, I, I, I figure I probably have, you know, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes left of work left to finish this dragon. Oh, thank you. Which translates into reality four hours. He's like, really? I'm like, yeah, that's usually how it ends up happening. <laughs> what ends up happening? I'm like, oh, I can get it done in no time at all. And seven hours later, I'm like, why am I still here? That's how I used to feel um, with software though. How long is this going to take you? Ah, oh, you know, maybe a couple of days. Three weeks later. Oh. Insert SpongeBob's voice there. Yeah. I guess it's actually not his voice that does that part, but you know what I mean. Okay. Red caps are done. Now I can do polka dots. Which... The most important polka dot tool ever. Toothpicks. Budget wisely so you can afford your toothpicks. I mean, how freaking cute is that? So now I really do wish I had the owl because I might put the owl on one of the mushrooms. Garrett says, one eternity later. <laughs> That's how it always works, isn't it? You're like, oh, I can get that done in five minutes. <laughs> I didn't read. I'm sorry. It's Map Map says, yes, dealing with maintenance at work and clients want an exact end time for the update on the software. Nope. <laughs> yeah. I always liked my mom's answer. Hey, mom, when's it going to be done? When it's done. Cool. Okay. Funny how uh, clients don't accept that. They don't. They really don't, no. No, that's like saying that to mom. I'm always reminded of uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And uh, it's like, you know, the little fiddly bits are, are my favorite part. Regina says it makes them cranky. The little fiddly bits? No. <laughs> Clients. Yeah. Clients, yeah. That's uh, one of the reasons I love having um, miniatures on our Etsy page is because they don't really get cranky. Like I had somebody, I messaged them and I'm like, hey, your order's not going to ship today. I'm really sorry, but I, when I was cleaning off supports yesterday, it broke. So I'm reprinting it now and I don't like to pack things the same day that I've cured them. So it won't be shipped until tomorrow. And they're like, nope, I'm cool with that. I'm like, cool. Because <laughs> they want the best product. They want it right. So if it's not, I don't ship it. And they seem to understand that and are okay with it. Sawdust Dragon says, My favorite Scotty quote when LaForge told Picard that the repairs would take four hours. You didn't tell him the truth, did you? <laughs> and it's Map Map says, We tried to let engineering put when it's done at the end time. 
<laughs> but they noped us on that. <laughs> no. It's funny because it's like, sometimes I just want to say, do you want it now or do you want it right? Because you can have it now. Like maybe chefs definitely should be able to say that. I'm hungry. I want the chicken. Well, I can give it to you right now and you can die or you can wait for me to cook the damn thing. So, so the funny thing about software development, though, is that there's there's a, a large, not a large, there's some people do this. They will, you tell them you've got three days and they'll get it done in three days. Bob! If you tell them it's going to be, you got three weeks to get it done, then they're going to take three weeks. So we. It's like that time is going to get filled as suggested either way. So we named our uh, robot vacuum Bob because everything in my house is named Bob or Steve. And Bob can clean three rooms on a full charge and then he's done doesn't matter with the size of those three rooms <laughs> because our living room is much bigger than our hallway but if it does our hallway <clears throat> and my office and Cora's room it's out but it can do my living room and Ty's office which we're in right now and the kitchen which are those three rooms are pretty much my house and then he's out I'm like Did three rooms that's it it's done crazy to me but you know what if Bob's cleaning it it means I don't have to okay we're spotified <laughs> excuse me associated with Spotify oh Don should not have used that term <laughs> we're spotted yeah I didn't even think about it we're spotified <laughs> I completely forgot it. I'm just making a fun word. Jerk. Uh, it's Map Map says, maybe if you named it Bobby, then it would do five rooms and not the three Bob Queens. Um, actually, for Christmas, my son got me a different robot cleaner. I won't Steve. say... So that's Steve. I won't say better. I'll say different. Because I'm sitting here? No, but it is better. But to be fair, Ty bought me the one that I said, buy me this. So that's not really like an insult that I can say, you know, you didn't get me the best one out there. You bought me the one I told you to buy me. Gotta water this down. So <clears throat> I feel like I got a frog in my throat. Yes. Yes. You were going to say the remote, weren't you? I was not. Yes, you were. Don't get it dirty. Oh, I got so upset. I was packing up an order. Um, I had... <clears throat> All four pieces done and ready to go. And I packed three of the minis that this woman had bought. And as I was packing the fourth one, I dropped the head and shattered three of the horns. I was so upset. I had to message her and tell her, I'm like, I'm so sorry. This is not going out. She was okay with it, but <clears throat> it sucked. It sucked very much. I liked this broken one, so I'm adding the broken one, too. Can't even tell if my fingers were in the way. Nope, they're not. Oh, Ty, you will have to come back and do the giveaway, though. You will have to come back to do the giveaway. Because I can't actually do that. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, the remote back. <laughs> remote 
Vouch, whatever. It goes in my hand. It must be some kind of magical remote wand. It is, isn't it? Put you over there. <laughs> No, come here. That was a good one. Because you got us both. Damn it. I can't hold on to this one. I love mushrooms. They are so much fun. <laughs> Did he get too quiet, Gareth? Or are you just letting everybody know that it's it's giveaway time? Come back and pay attention. I was busy picking a word. Uh, this map map says something about dabbing then dots is very calming to watch. It dabbing really dabbing. is, isn't it? Kara says, yeah, and I'd like, like it to be. I think it was one of you, Trevor. Oh. <laughs> admittedly lost. Regina says, I love mushrooms as well. I was trying to figure out if I can key to my forest track. Yes, that's the answer. Yes, Regina. Um, I know I didn't really, like, make them on the stream, but, I, I mean, it's... Take a ball, a little tiny ball of clay and make it flat, and you've got the flat ones. Take a little tiny ball of clay and make it round, or, you know, this shape. And you've got the buttonhead ones. I can't even hold them because of the stupid gloves. I'm so ready to be done with gloves. But this is just air dry clay. And put it on. Like I said, I just, I literally made a snake, like the kindergarten snake, and then shoved toothpicks in it. And uh, then made the caps. And they kind of stuck to the toothpicks while the clay was wet. But as they dry, they it pops right off of them. So it's not an issue. So just as Gareth sort of got in there and sawdust, uh, type the word gimme into chat if you'd like to enter to win the mystery mini box tonight. We'll give everybody a few minutes to, to type their entry in. It is case insensitive, so it doesn't matter if you're using lowercase, uppercase, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's funny. Dara says, why do you use the gloves if you don't mind me asking? Um, basically, at this point, it's because my fingers are still pretty gross looking. Um, and it's a pretty close up shot on my fingers, so it's it's more for so you guys don't have to see them, is really what it is. Uh, they still are pretty sensitive, uh, to a lot of things from, <clears throat> back from the, the making the duck of doom. Uh, so, and no, I don't mind asking you asking. If I ever mind you asking something, I'll just say, I'm not going to answer that. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. Um, but it's because I did something to my hands. I, I don't really understand why they're still like this, but they are. Uh, and it's just, they're kind of gross looking. They're just cracked and peeling and not altogether pleasant. Uh, currently this one even has a bandaid on underneath the glove because it's, it's pretty, pretty severely cracked and hurts. So, 
but I do have a doctor's appointment again on the 7th. So hopefully we'll figure out something that will actually work and make these stop being like this. But just in general, they're, they're gross and my hands are right here in your face and I don't think you want to look at it. <laughs> the magic mystery tour. Yeah, it, it would be nice at this point. It's like I kind of, like I almost have forgotten what it feels like to not have cracked and peeling hands. But I'm I'm hopeful on this doctor's appointment that we'll we'll get it fixed and get it figured out. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna do the top side. I think that's dry enough. So just to do something kind of fun, I'm taking the well, I'm taking the paint and I'm gonna stick it to my finger. I had some of that color shifting paint still out on my palette. So I'm going to make some color shifting. They're magic mushrooms. No, not fun. Okay. Uh, just for a reminder, in case anybody was just sort of hanging out in the background, right now we are prepping up the mystery mini giveaway tonight. So be sure to type in gimme, all one word, gimme, G-I-M-M-E into chat if you want to enter because we're going to be doing a drawing here in just the next couple of minutes <laughs> face rooms <laughs> got any face rooms eh uh gareth yeah i mean i i've seen hands with band-aids and everything else um the it, it's very unpleasant looking it and it looks a lot worse than it feels. It it does hurt. It is sensitive, um, but it's no. And part of the issue right now that I'm having is I ordered the wrong size gloves, so you can see I kind of have a lot of give in these gloves. So I'm I'm having difficulty picking things up because I can't actually use my fingertips properly. But anyway, they'll be better soon, and then I won't be wearing gloves, and life will be back to normal. That's my New Year's resolution, to not have to wear gloves when I'm painting. <laughs> uh, That's probably what the doctor will suggest. You should wear gloves when you're working with all of these things. <laughs> um, one of the, the fun things was that I would... Uh, and there will be much rejoicing. Yes. Um, I forgot what I was saying. One of the fun things was... Blank brain. Okay, I don't want to put any mushrooms on the base until I have him on the base. So that I don't put things down where he's going to knock them off or hide them. So, move. Now comes the scary time because his legs don't really want to spread to fit. Do you want to do this first? You can do that while I'm doing this. Yes. Okay. Uh, is everybody entered? Well, okay, everybody. Apparently, you have a few more moments. If you haven't entered, give me into chat. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a. Mm, that one got me really freaking good. I don't know. Oh, I guess you have a few more moments if you enter Gimme Now for a chance to win a, a, a pick on the Mystery Mini Box. We are just moments away. Yes. Let's go ahead and do this drawing. I pooped. <laughs> okay. That is going to be a struggle. But it's okay. So, because it's going to be a struggle, I'm going to put a little bit of glue in there first. Because once it is in there, it is in there. All right. We are going to roll it right now. The winner is... 
Lashigo Games. Congratulations. I have any. Oh, there's Lashigo. Like, I haven't even heard him saying or seen him say anything. <laughs> Congratulations. Congrats. You gotta let me know. Yeah, you wanna. Oh, I was switching. Oh, I was... yeah, I'm putting it here because my hands are gonna be busy. Gotcha. Oh, that doesn't work. Hold on. Yeah, that. Let me look. There we go. <laughs> so you could choose from. One, two, four, yeah. six, it's eight, ten, twelve, that. fourteen, ten, fifteen, that, that is seventeen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty, twenty-one. <laughs> There's no twenty-one. There's nineteen. <laughs> so you can choose from any one of those, and we will blue, <laughs> <laughs> red. Ah, sorry. No wait, green. Eight. Okay. Eight. <laughs> Working and lurking. I get ya. Okay. Box number eight is going to be for Lashigo. We'll get that shipped out tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow. I am struggling. His legs do not want to spread to get this. Okay. Seriously. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Okay. Everybody, hold your breath. Come on. Oh, my God. <gasps> Yay! Nope, keep holding. I'm not done. Ow! He's stabbing me now. <laughs> oh my gosh, go down. He's not going down all the way. You are being a bitch, I'm just saying. <laughs> See, Ty's not holding his bre breath properly. That's what's happening right now. Come on. That is a pain in the butt. Okay. Mm. It's like almost, but not quite. Now, you're being a bitch. Oh, here. So, race number eight, by the way. It's like massively stuck up. You can see the peg right there. Which, considering it's a four scene, the solution is moss. But that's not what I want to do. So I'm going to still just work on it a little bit. See if I can get it to... It's like that side is going in all the way, but this, this one doesn't want to go down. It looks like in this mm. instance that maybe maybe you want to put it on the base before you put the wing on. No, it's um, its legs are. It needs to spread apart and then go down, and it just doesn't want to. So, realistically speaking, the best option here is going to be the moss and the foliage to kind of cover it up i can also add clay that hurt add clay along this to build up the log itself um to kind of hide and cover all of that it just sucks um so just gonna do too much charred earth brown Gareth says, night, off to run and tuck in the kiddos. It was a great watching the stream. It looks amazing, Dawn. Thank you. Uh, and Shigo says, the solution is a blowtorch. Uh, it's map map. Would a gentle heat on it work without messing up the paint? Um, it, the gentle heat shouldn't mess up the paint, but because it's, if it was a reaper, yeah. It would work for sure, but because it's resin, no, it really won't do anything. Um, really, what will happen is I'll end up breaking it if I try to force it anymore. Uh, it's just... This piece will go down, but this piece, it's almost like if I... Really, what I should probably do is try to take it completely back off again. Um, this is why dry fitting without glue is the good solution uh, but dry fitting it and then clipping off some of this piece to where it'll go down further because it's that's what it's like it's 
it feels like it's down as far as it will go. Um, but at this point, the glue is pretty much set. I don't think I can get them back off. Nope, he's not coming back off. So, camouflage it is. But that's okay because we've made a bunch of camouflage, including um, I made a little bush. But this is the sort of thing that, I mean, there's plenty of Reaper miniatures out there where things don't quite fit right. So I, you know, hide this, hide that. Um, it's just part of miniatures. So I, I'm not terribly concerned about it and I, I can hide it in multiple ways. So there's plenty of options too. I don't have my clip. Oh, yes, they do. So one of the things that I'm going to do is my little mushrooms, I'm just going to clip the toothpick and leave it as my stick or as the stem, you know, but I don't want them as high as I had them. I'm going to use tweezers to put everything in which is pretty standard for what I do when I'm basing is I'll use tweezers to place things where I want them this is where Cora comes screaming in just a dot not a lot thank you for the sub that's so sweet Uh, Sawdust Dragon just gifted a tier one sub to Dorky Dino. Thank you. Sorry, I'm like trying to, I'm can half kind of look at the, um, I can half look over at the screen because I'm trying to get this to set in place before I turn my eyes over there. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> it just fell over on me too. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you, Lashugo, for the bits. That's so sweet. Okay, seriously now, you're going to live right here. This is your new home. Stay put. <laughs> he doesn't want to live here, but he's going to. You will be happy here, I promise. Oh, you jerk. There we go. Okay. Now he's happy in his home. I did it. Yay. <laughs> All right. Let's get this one. I like this one. Some of these I'll have to glue on to the base itself. Like that one. We need to paint, glue, read, and think. Yeah, that's not how my brain works. <laughs> oh. That's like, it, it's, that's part of the problem is like having to look over at the screen whenever Ty's walked away i'm like no now i have to do a bunch of stuff at once <laughs> i like cheating <laughs> i like eating too yes i am a very big fan of food i don't know where that went it's okay it was trash i'll find it later <laughs> all right now yeah, see, even his back feet won't lay down flat, but that's okay. We'll fix it later. I kind of like that right in that area, but I need to cover the clay that's all holding that piece together in, in brown paint, I think, to make it look better. Yes, Bob will get it later, Sawdust. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to follow chat, guys. I am. Um, I'm just not good at it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I just now realized Tavina. 
rated the rated us with three. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate that. That is my second, huh? To I don't know Tavina Tavina or Tavaria. I'm not sure which. I am so bad at that. But I greatly appreciate the raid. That's like my second raid ever, and it's freaking awesome. Nope, stop. Yes, Tavaria. Tavaria. Who, who Thank raided you. Raided us before. So this is my second raid. And, <laughs> and won the mini. That oh, that's that right. That's right. <laughs> so that was my first raid ever. Was you, and you are my second raid ever, which is amazing. You love me. Okay, now behave yourself. Get off. Everything is sticking to my fingers. That's what happens when you grab glue, right? I'm so happy that he is almost done. Because he's been sitting on the shelf begging to be painted. And I haven't painted him, haven't painted him because I wanted to finish him on stream. Oh my gosh, me and this grass are going to fight. Go down. I'm just going to sit here and hold this. So, what's everyone's week looking like? It doesn't want to stay down. It kind of like blows me away when I realize it's only Tuesday. Like, I've done nothing. Oh, wait, that's right. It's only Tuesday. It's okay that I've done nothing. There we go. It's not completely set, but it will. And because I won't stop touching it. <laughs> Lashigo says the bottle of glue reminds me. I need to go buy some so I can fix Nessie. Yes, I'm really upset that Nessie broke. That was like... I thought I'd had had it packed really, really well. I'm sorry. Uh, Sponge by voice three hours later. <laughs> uh, sawdust, you know, just sitting here holding grass. Yep, that's about how that goes. Uh, Regina, I am desperate to see that koi dragon when you have it painted. Oh, you're doing the art show planning already. Wow. That's crazy that you get started on that so fast. I know what I'm thinking is I'm going to trade glues because this bottle is almost out anyway. So I'm going to put a little dab of glue right there. And I'm going to dip it in the glue instead of trying to put the glue on here. And I will add a little bit of grass around to kind of cover spots where I've put things down. See, ideally I would have been doing this while the while the mud was all wet because then I could shove it down into the mud. But you know, hindsight being, you know, 2020 and my eyesight being not that. <laughs> oh, I dropped it. Uh Regina, I'm on the staff now, so we make this year better and la than the last four. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't, like, read it from here. I'm on the staff now, so we have to make this year better than last. Our first one in church. Okay, gotcha. That's really cool. I honestly, I thought you were on this on the staff last year. But that's okay. It was funny because I got to Archon the night before it started. And I walked into the art show and saw an amazing little tree. And I had to buy it. Like before Archon was even open, I bought that tree because I wasn't losing it. But that's what happens. I see, see something really cool at a con. And then by the time I get to shop, it's gone. I'm like, no, I want that tree. Me and you are fighting, so we're gonna, gonna move on. Let's do one of our sparkly mushrooms.
you can move. You made me mad. Nope. Behave. Oh, I got you. Now, okay. I'm with you now, Regina. Sorry. Brain no work. Come back tomorrow. Okay. Let me see. If I cannot move the mushroom while I find my spritz spray. Ah. -ha. The instant set. Miracle stuff. That did an instant set. It, okay. Normally does. Haha, -ha, there we go. See, it matches his little gemstone. Isn't that cool? Okay, that makes me happy. We're going to do another one of those. What we're going to do is pre-spritz it. i figure out where I want it. What always ends up happening is I make a whole bunch of extra little bits to put on and then I use like 5% of what I've made. But you can always just, and I, I do, I have a little container that I just set all these extra bits in and I just leave them off for the next time. No, you stupid head. You know what? I'll spritz down here. Maybe it'll help me get these in here. And then where's my little brown one? Where'd that one go? Dorky, you're back. <laughs> How much longer do you have before your stream? Probably watch your stream tonight, Dorky, while we're eating dinner. It's another one for Bob later. Ty's literally in there cooking dinner at the moment while we while I finish. Kind of like these popping out right here. Nope, stay down. Well, not all the way down, you stupid thing. It fell over. It went boom. Get a little more glue on it. Okay, sorry, I'm going to read now. Okay. Uh, it, Map Map says, I just told a friend I can't raid on Final Fantasy. I'm watching Mushrooms Dry. <laughs> Yep. Yep. That's our night. We're going to mush watch mushrooms dry. Um, oh man, I feel so bad. I didn't realize I hadn't tilted this back down. There we go. Now you can see me holding tweezers. Yay. Uh, uh, yes, actually that would be great. Uh, so Ty will get back in here shortly. And we will raid Dorky when when she is live. So you got about 10 minutes to finish dinner before you have to come and do stuff and make us raid Dorky Dino. Oh, <laughs> Dorky's going live in 10 minutes. Okay. So we're going to stay live until she's up and running and then we'll raid her. Okay. Which, none of which I can do from my side. Yes, you gave me the mouse. Okay, I'm going to go another, sh another shroomage. Let's see. I'm going to go right there. This is why I always like to have like a toothpick or something else pokey. See, that looks so cool with it. Like, 
the shiny here and the shiny matches there. No, 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 App Dorky, that is not, that is absolutely not a thing. Don't worry about self-promotion. Um, you're absolutely welcome to, to, especially because, I mean, like, I'm asking you, what time are you rating? That's, that's, you're not stepping on anybody's toes at all here. I am absolutely happy to, and honestly, oh, shoot, I, yeah, I, I love to raid, and you just kind of saved me from having to look around for somebody to raid. So you just made our life easy. And we probably won't chat much during your stream, only because we're going to be stuck in our face. All right. Get a little spritz so that my glue sets really quickly. <laughs> Only on here, not in real life. I'm not all that nice. <laughs> okay. So some of these, I want to add a little bit of um, grass to kind of conceal. Not the, the stalk. Of <laughs> Damn it! Not the stalk of the mushroom, but just like you can see. <laughs> the Shigo, that one got me really good. Um, like you can see right here, it doesn't look like it's in the ground. It looks like it's sitting on the ground. So I want to add a little bit more right there, like grass wise, to kind of conceal that better. Uh, Ty is making grilled chicken breasts and rice. Which is awesome and yummy. I'm typically more of a beef person. Pork is honestly my favorite. Uh, but Thai is more of a uh, beef than pork. And he's also quite a large fan of chicken. Which, I mean, I've got nothing against chicken. It's just, it's not my go-to. Okay. Okay. So we still need to conceal, and I don't want to just do moss because it's gonna look weird. But I think that's might what I have to, might be what I have to do. But <clears throat> I, I have a bag full of moss here, and I kind of step away from it. Yeah, it it is actually. Um, I do really enjoy chicken breasts or grilled chicken breasts. Uh, obviously, fried chicken breasts is the best. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought he was just grilling it. He is actually going to make jerk chicken, which is even better. I hate this moss. I hate this moss. I hate this moss. It's a moss and moss. But it'll look good. It's just so... I think we have black beans... I love uh, jerk chicken and black beans. I'm just a big fan of beans in general, but I really like black beans. This is like so flaky and so messy. That's one of the reasons I love working on these mats because I can just like scoop the whole thing off. I cooked a pork roast that was labeled as ribeye roast. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know about that if I would have made it. I think I would have looked at it and going, I don't think that, uh, that, that steak is good anymore. So we're going to leave that alone. <laughs> um, it is healthy, uh, dorky, but I'm more concerned with flavor than health. <laughs> Just probably not the right thing to say, but it's true. All right. We're going to do a spritz again because it is much easier to have the spritz on the model and then put the glue on the stuff and then get it to stick. 
But this is why I really like using toothpicks for this stuff because it really is an instant. Oh, I guess I should say that. I'm sorry. It's an instant set is what I'm spraying on there. So it really is very, sets extremely quickly uh, once it touches. So I do want to be careful and not get it on my tweezers. I'm going to do little bits at a time. So I only want to glue a portion of it and let the rest of it just kind of flow out. So dry and crunchy. Struggling to hold on. See, that's why I said I only want to do a little bit at a time. And what did I do? Grab a big chunk of it. Now I'm struggling. So my idea is if I can hide that, the support here, it'll just look like he's raising his hand up above it. So I don't need the, I don't need it to look like he's standing on the moss. I just need the moss to conceal the fact that that support is there. I wish he would have. <clears throat> this is why I always say dry fit first. And I didn't do it because I was terrified once I got him in there, he wasn't coming back out, which I guess either way, I wouldn't have need the, needed the glue. But again, hindsight, right, guys? Try and crunchy moss. No, yes. Try and country, country. Nope, not going to happen. You know what I'm trying to say. Done. Uh, dorky, sawdust. I would have been very confused. Uh, dorky also says, I am more concerned with flavor than health too. Yeah. Um. Wish I wasn't, but yeah. Yeah, there we are. It, you know, there there's something to be said, but also, I mean, we're having jerk chicken, rice, and black beans. Hopefully, we're having the black beans. I don't know. I haven't really heard him say that yet or not. Uh, but yes, we went with what's going to taste good, but it also, I mean, can it doesn't have to be the reason that we have that food, but it is definitely healthy. to pop up a little bit more. And I think, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. Different stick. I lost it. Okay. I think I'm going to put a few little pieces of moss inside of his joints as well. Just to kind of marry it, you know? And I am going to use the tweezers on this because I'm literally... Ugh, I can't focus. Do you have the autofocus back on? Ty, is it autofocusing or no? Action cam? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Well, I got it. You need it to autofocus? No, it's fine. So all I'm doing now is on this little bitty little stick is just barely dipping that into the glue and then putting it down. 
so I won't be getting it on my tweezers. Uh, I chopped up a thick steak for chili. Tasted good, but our stomachs might disagree with the beans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that can happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get some of that instant set up there. We are killing time waiting for Dorky to go live because we're going to raid her. I'm literally fiddling. No, you stay. I don't know if you guys could hear Cora just walked in and asked how it was, how the stream was. So I was answering the question. I kind of like that coming out of the, the shoulders like that. Add a little bit over here. Quack. Oh, shit. I don't know why that one got me so quick. <laughs> I'm going to put our big boy right here. Oh, I just broke him. There. Well, mushrooms aren't like the, the most spectacular in shape things anyway, so it's fine. Who was that anyway that got me sawdust? <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite one crack damn it i literally have just like moss broken up all over the table right here and i'm just picking up little shreds of it of like oh that'll look good right here that'll look good right here turned him around. I was doing his shoulder. I got distracted by the mushroom. Beep, 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 beep. I can hear the microwave in there. Or the timer, rather. Okay, so the moss didn't go flying in my face, so I'm happy. But it's also looking really cool, so I'm, like, doubly, doubly happily. Happy, not happily. <laughs> well, it's still the same, right? It's the fiddly bits that take forever, and they're so worth it. Oh... <laughs> Okay, what happened? Uh, it was a hungry caterpillar. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bob is hyperventilating, <laughs> and all the moss needs to be cleaned. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's to oh. Uh, yeah, probably. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm just imagining the robot in there just like, oh my god, the moss is everywhere! And this is the same moss that Cora used for the Halloween reef they made. So it's kind of, again, the... <clears throat> Taking something and like, okay, I've got 50 million of these. I don't need 50 million of them. So set them off and use them for something else that have pops up. Oh, 
I don't think I'm going to have to use that grass after all because I'm just laying some of these pieces of moss down around where I was going to put more grass. And it's concealing the... This doesn't look like it's actually sitting in the ground. It's just sitting on top of it. Idea. Or fixing that. You know what I mean? No, because I'm not speaking English. I'm just <laughs> bl blathering on and on and on. Okay. I don't know. First sentence of police report. I got distracted by the... <laughs> no, don't do that. What about this one, did you? Uh, yes, that's what that's what got me. That's that's okay. the last thing I read, and that's when I just, like, stopped, and I was dying. Uh, it's got map also said. I have a bag of that moss around here from the pixie houses we made. The bag was huge. Yes. So the moss will last. Like, I still have... I mean, I didn't take out very much, but I still have this big giant chunk that I haven't even touched yet. Okay. <clears throat> but I think... Because, see, now you can see... Like, the foot just looks like it's coming up off of the log, rather than it looking... Because you can't really see that, that piece anymore. So, I... I'm going to go... Check mark. Done. I think I'm happy. I like the little bits of the moss coming up out of the shoulder pieces, too. I think that looks really good. The only thing that would make this better is a little owl sitting on the, the antler. Branch, whatever you want to call it. So I think I'm going to put a little dab of glue. Hey, get off me. Yeah, it's map map says that lift gives it depth and action. Yeah. See, and that's why it's like something completely unintentional it was not what i wanted but rather than breaking it and trying to force it just let it go and let it do its thing and we're good we're done we're happy so guys is is dorky ready i don't know if dorky is alive they're yet alive, but they're on their starting soon so I okay wanna... exactly it's my world bob ross told me so so it's happy accidents and you know that's that's what it is and i love it. it it's it's words to live by just saying i do want to put a little tiny bit of glue behind his back foot though um but yes as soon as dorky is live and i think they're on their starting soon screen is what yeah, you said so. gonna give it a minute yeah. okay i just want to get these toes down get that wobble gone Goddess Dragon says happy accidents is my entire life yeah or at least accidents most of mine are happy Okay, so I also never covered the join, you can see, right there. It's like a broken stick. So, I have some of these bits that I kept knocking off. I'm just going to dip it in glue and put it on there. I already spritzed it. Ah! and that's why I don't put the damn toothpick on the other side and that chicken smells really good see look completely concealed honestly it's it's one of those things too that that's definitely one of those I made it so I see it sort of things you know like if if you scratched the paint on the wall You'd see it every time you walk by that wall, but no one else would ever notice it. 
but I see it. I know it's there and it bugs me. Oh, there we go. Cool. All right, so now I need to find another little fiddly bit that I broke off and I'll do the same thing. This one I'm probably going to use more than one because it's a little bit more noticeable to me and I have little bits left. And I just did it again. I set the damn toothpick down. I'm just going to get a new one. Scottish Dragon says, I see the I see this dragon and California Dream in place in my head. No, go up. Got a bunch of little leaves laying around here, so. Like every now and again, I'd move something, turn them or something, and just little leaves would pop off. So it's not great, but it gave me an easy fix. See, we still have three, four painted mini, or four painted mushrooms that probably won't put on here. It's Matt Map says, I feel inspired to use moss to hide all the accidents. Later, my wall is patchy moss to hide the scratches. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, that would be awesome. Um, just don't hide the accidents that you made while you were cooking with moss. It's not a good combination. That was like one of my favorite things about cooking was if I made a mistake, I just ate the mistake and then no one ever saw it. Okay. All right, guys. So Dorky is live. So... We will say goodnight to Mr. Dragon. <laughs> thank you zombie cora so everybody please stay on and help us support dorky and we are going to raid dorky yay bye folks bye guys <laughs> try to get my phone to where i can Oh, just making sure it's staying on there. Get some of this moss put away before it blows all over and Bob really has a hissy fit. Let me give you a shout out. I'm not super surprised because they said they were going to raid me. Hello, Sawdust Dragon. Welcome. Um, Crit Monkey Studios is my friend who paints miniatures, and then um, her child also does really cool crafts and stuff. Um, so they do both of those on the stream, and it is very, very entertaining. Hello, everyone. Um, and they are good friends. We go to conventions together, and just generally awesome people, so they deserve all of the support. Thank you, Red Jenna. And thank you for the follow. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I'm trying to find... I can't find, like, exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking at reference images right now. Um... <gasps> Hello! Thank you so much for the cheer! Your very first... <laughs> comment in my chat and it's a cheer thank you for the bits and a hype train awesome sisyphus thank you for the resub it was good timing because it got us to a hype train and look we're 69 percent nice <laughs> that's awesome
this is the one that's on the not on a, it, I haven't made it into a keychain yet but I have it as a charm I don't have one near me but um yes I made it into like the that's the cute itty bitty tiny ones right now it's on a charm sawdust thank you so much for the bits look at those cute unicorns the unicorns are my favorite dawn thank you 101 101 bits they need to make a movie about that okay jay your is that your answer to the um question of the day so my question of the day if anyone else would like to answer if you're just joining from the raid um, what is one thing you think everyone should do at least once in their lives? Jay says see the Salvador Dali uh, Museum, which would be awesome. I would like to see that. Hi Pickle! I won't be able to focus playing Dune for the first, Doom for the first time. Awesome! I hope you enjoy it. Went there in Petersburg, Florida. Nice. Uh, Katie says, I think everyone should try to eat a food that scares them because it may be good and unlock a world of yum. That is a very good one. I think even if it's not a food, like do something that scares you, but that you think that you might be interested in. Um, because like, like you said, like you never know, uh, you might end up liking stuff that you weren't sure if you would like or not, food or otherwise. Nine months and I had a sub baby. <laughs> Congratulations on your little sub baby. Uh, just in case I didn't, I think I said thank you to Sawdust. Thank you, Sawdust. Thank you, Dawn, for all the bits. Cause puppy, yes. <laughs> Hi, Mako. I am. I am art streaming. I'm working on. I have a ton of new emotes to do. Um, because 